Someone told me the other day that I look like the dinosaur from Toy Story and now I don't know what to do with my life. No matter what type of art you like to make, the most important thing is to have the actual supplies to do it. I'm lucky enough to live in London and we have some of the most amazing art stores, large and independent. But sometimes it can be expensive, so I kind of wanted to experiment in this video with some affordable art supplies and see what I can make. Peace and blessings, good vibes, because in this video we have art supplies. Thank you, Magic Fly. So Magic Fly sent me some art supplies to work with for this video for free. Thank you so much. You know we love free. And so today I'm going to be making an anime glass sketchbook and I'm going to be using the acrylic paints to do the cover and I'm going to be using the marker pens to do some sketching in the actual book itself. I've been wanting to do an anime glass project for so long. Like I've been seeing so many TikToks and YouTube videos of people making them. I kind of wanted to figure out a good idea before I presented it to you guys. When it finally hit me to do the sketchbook version, I was like, yes. For this anime project, I'm going to be doing bleach because like I can say all the time in my videos, bleach does not get enough love. As far as I'm concerned, it is one of the OG big three and must be respected. The reason you love Jujutsu Kaisen is because of bleach. The reason you love Demon Slayer is because of bleach. Taito Kubo, who is the writer and illustrator of bleach, is one of the most talented mangaka that ever lived. His drawings are impeccable. His art style is amazing. And I could not hope to hold a candle. However, because this is an art channel, I am going to be drawing my own versions of the anime art and his characters. Because I think it's always good to, you know, do our own versions of things if we have the chance to. So let's get on with the custom. Now I said that this was anime glass, that was a big lie. I'm actually using resin. The reason being that I can actually form it into the shape of the sketchbook much more easily rather than me messing around with cutting glass and trying to get the small holes for the binding of the book. It would have been a mess. And the good thing about resin is it comes out super clear and it has a glass effect. Another huge advantage of the city that I live in is that we actually have access to a whole bunch of manga stores in Central. So I went to a few of them to get a bit of inspiration for what I wanted to do for this. Like I said, I am going to do bleach. However, it's nice to go around and just absorb the energy of the store because if you've ever been to a manga store, it's amazing. I decided for this video that I'm going to do Renji. Renji is a soul reaper from bleach and he has one of the most interesting bankais, which is the final form of his zanpakuto, which is his sword, <laughs> which I've ever seen. I think in the show it's just such a striking design it's like almost this dragon but it's this snake made of like baboon bones and it's got this like furry mane it's just and just his actual design as well is amazing like he has tattoos all over him this striking red hair Taito Kubo is such a master of character design and you can really see the influence of the designs that he did and how that spread across the anime community and the manga community in some of the more popular shows that have come out since. Using a black oil-based paint marker, I actually drew out the design. With that being done, we can move on to the Magic Fly paints. All of them actually come with a whole bunch of different colors. And some of them have doubles, but they actually serve different purposes. So some of them are more opaque than others. And there's neon versions, and there's even a few metallic ones in there as well. It's crazy how much the cost can pile up when you want to experiment and do new things. These videos are not cheap to make. And I'm super grateful to Magic Fly for supplying these to me. And these exact paints are linked down in the description. Starting with the red, uh, I'm going to take off the top, it's super satisfying to do. And I'm going to mix it in with a bit of the brown. This is so that I can get a bit more of a darker tone in the hair. So with these paints, I'm actually going to mix them with a thickening medium. This is just because when you paint it on glass or anything that's this shiny of a surface, you want this kind of texture because what will happen is if it's a bit too thin, it might crack on the resin and you don't want it to do that. I would suggest adding this to any acrylic paint that you use when you're doing a glass painting. You want to make sure that you're doing the painting in globs and dabs so it's not going to be thin as how you would do on paper because you need it to be super opaque. This is the first time I did it and something that I did notice is that the paint is more opaque when it's on a dark surface rather than a light one so I think I'm going to paint the back black once I'm completely finished with it. 
and because this is both sides i'm actually drawing it on both and i'm gonna paint it down so that it matches up and like it will almost connect once the book is wide open so i took the design outside just so i could check my theory about how it works with the light and as you can see it works really well with the darker but oi oi get out of my get out of my video Go on, sling your rock. What are you doing? Next, I'm going in with some of the neon orange. Uh, I kind of liked how the tone of this was, so I decided to go with the neon version and a bit of red and brown to it. This is gonna be for the skin tone. Fun fact, human skin essentially is actually orange, not, uh, I guess, white or black or any of the other descriptions that we use for it, because orange is the color, but brown or cream or beige or whatever your particular skin tone is, is a hue of the orange. So usually when you want to do a skin tone, you should probably start off with an orange and then build up or go down from there. One thing I also discovered with these anime glass paintings is that you want to start with the darkest colors first and then graduate to the light because you can just go over the darker parts with the light parts and it doesn't matter if there's any spillover because it won't really show behind it because it's already lighter. Which of these comics has sold the most volumes? One Piece, Spider-Man or Superman? Next, I'm gonna go in with the medium so it thickens up and do the little small details. I started with the yellow because I knew I was gonna use the orange next to get in the next part of the skin tone. So to make sure that I wasn't wasting paint, I just did that first. Added a bit of gray and a bit of saddle brown. And I'm going in first with the bones. I wanna kind of get a almost golden sheen on there. And like I said, now I'm gonna do the lighter parts. I also found that a good technique is to roll the paintbrush if you like, you wanna get a thick glob of the paint on there. And then I also use the thicker paintbrush when I wanted to paint more areas. Moving on to the skin tone and the lighter parts outside of the shadows, I just added a bit of white to the mixture that I was already going with and then just use the actual white for the head, like I said, in thick gloves. Which of the following is the highest grossing anime film in North America? Pokemon the first movie, Demon Slayer, Mugen Train, or Spirited Away? So like I said, I realized that it actually looks a bit more opaque once there's a darker background. So I just took some of the black paint and covered the entire design. But you need to make sure that the design is completely dry before you do this. And then I just use some Mud Podge because I'm gonna be opening up the sketchbook. So I wanna make sure that the paint doesn't chip. So when I was out in, you know, the real world, I actually picked up some banger volumes because I wanted to use them as some of the sketchbook pages. But I also thought I wanted to show Renji some love. So I pretty much, made a little Photoshop edit here, and then I printed it off double-sided. My printer doesn't actually print double-sided, I just put the paper in twice. <laughs> and then I actually proceeded to find some of my favorite parts in the volume that I bought. I basically just cut them out using the crafting knife. Like I said, I can't speak any more highly of Tate Kubo's work than just showing it to you. I really thought it would be a nice touch to this to have some of his work just sprinkled into the book. I also bought some volumes of some of my other favorite manga. Um, I think I might do a sketchbook of one of these next ones as well. Let me know in the comments which one you think I should go with. So I'm using watercolor paper for this just because that way I can paint through the sketchbook without warping. And I've got about 30 sheets of A5. And I've also got some clear plastic sheets just to kind of mirror the cover and I can do a bit of nice plastic art in there as well as that. So now I just need to match up the holes with a pencil of where they match up to the cover and I'm using this tool here, which I completely forgot the name of, don't judge me, um, but it basically hole punches into paper. And I used it in my first sketchbook video, if you wanna see how I did it for that one. Pretty much, I'm just gonna layer out them in random orders. It doesn't really matter what order I put it in because it's my sketchbook at the end of the day. But um, I just kinda of wanted to have a nice mix of clear paper pages and then the artwork and obviously the plastic sheets as well. So we can get a bit of, um, Nice textures going on in the book and different ways of working with the art. I 
And the final thing to do is take these hooks and put all of the pages and the cover together. So it wouldn't be a sketchbook video if I didn't actually do the first page because you can't just have an empty book. Why would you do that? Thankfully, Magic Fly comes with all of these 100 different colors. So I can do any color combination that I want and they come with double-sided tips. So you can do really detailed work and really painterly stuff. I picked Mayori Kuratsuchi, which is one of the captains in Bleach as the first drawing just because First of all, his design is one of my favorites, but also it allows me to use a lot of different color combinations, which a lot of the other characters don't really let me do. And I wanted to make sure that I could get the most use out of these pens since, like I said, they were free. Also, all of these colors are also linked in the description along with the paints that I used before. I think it's so useful to have this array of colors because if you like me, I find it very hard to blend with markers. So just having a whole plethora of colors makes it so much easier to make really colorful tonal work without having to, you know, <laughs> I have a whole bunch of skill that I just do not have. And just like that, we have actually finished the anime glass sketchbook. I am actually really proud of how they stand out. Like it's, it's, it's crazy. Um, adding the bleach pages, I was a bit intimidated because I didn't really want to put my work next to Kubo's, but I think it was a really nice touch to the book and it worked out in the end. Um, if you want to watch any more of my other videos, they are linked to the side. And uh, hey, you, I, t I told you to get out of my, why are you in my 